<laughs> All right, okay, so Cool no, Jake. You, see the Blastoise. you know, and I think that this is smart. You know, Cool Jake can play with his options here. He can see how Blastoise does against Gardevoir. And Blastoise has so much health. He can. He's he's able to take the chip from. Gardevoir's projectiles and from all that zoning to get in there and do those high damaging combos. Absolutely, and with his, with his ability to actually put on a defense uh, buff for himself, that makes a big difference too. You know, while going a long way with all the health that he possesses, now you have a defense buff on top of that, which now makes it even harder for you to be killed. Yep. Now here, here we are, uh, Utah manages to get some combos going and destroying that rapid spin with the counter piercing forward wide. But even so, look at the damage. It's not, it is a it's lot. It's nothing. But the defense buff is so crucial. Oh, the debuff is gone, so let's see what happens. Nice, Snivy. Snivy coming out. Good choice, good choice. But it doesn't reach. Uh, you think, you, you think. Very nice to see it. <laughs> Uh, I think Cool Jake's just trying to get a feel for the matchup real quick. See what Utah's going to try to pull. And there it is. A quick round one, two, Blastoise. He really didn't take a lot of damage during that set. We're seeing a lot of really good job, uh, a really good job of Utah zoning out Cool Jake, baiting out the options, and punishing with counter piercers. The thing is, is that uh, Blastoise has quite a few, like that right there, quite a few options to zone himself. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. But you, you can see, if he gets in, if he decides whether or not he wants to shake things up, he has the opportunity and still do a lot of damage from it. And right already, we're seeing so much damage coming out from Cool Jake. He's definitely turned this around from the first round. He, he's trying to get up. Oh, oh, what? No! He the got psychic the... came out in time to <laughs> save Utah. <laughs> the fates are on his side. <laughs> it looks like a... Uh... All, all of Gardevoir's energy is, you know, being prepared. Nice rapid spin. Really got himself in like he wants to. Double rapid spin. Is he going to change it up? He does. So it looks like uh, Utah may have been trying to go for the, uh, the the stored power to try to stop the rapid spin because rapid spin, just like every counter attack, has multiple oh. frames. <laughs> that was a really good option from Cool Jake. He used the lappers to make Utah jump away from it and then tried to follow up, but no such luck. Now there's a lot of chip, chip damage on the field. All right. Both 18 players seconds. are in burst. 18 seconds left on the clock. Does he catch him? He does. And Here that's going to take round number two. Yes, but this burst is glorious to watch. We actually have two of the <laughs> most beautiful bursts facing off. I like the, the, the large colors, like in the beam itself. That does make it actually look pretty nice. I think they did a nice job with it. I'll be a little over the top, but still good. <laughs> Every burst has to be over the top, though. It has to. Like, I think Garchomp probably has, like, the worst animation on play. <laughs> so, the thing is, uh, one thing that Utah can do is Moonblast in field. If he holds that, he can, he can just out-prioritize all options. Like that. It was a nice try for Cool Jake to, to get in there. He did do... Um, Pretty decent jump there. The Snivy once again gonna come out with a back dash from Utah. We're seeing a lot of pressure being applied to Cool Jake. He's not able to do a whole lot from this. And uh, he's not getting enough burst to uh, to make that work. <laughs> the full on oh, counter cool. completely he tried missed. To go for the six X. And this might be the round here. Cool. Very nice. <laughs> that was really smart you play, uh, gameplay from Utah, getting that first game off. And he's on the road. You know he's. Got himself on the board, which is the first step to a reset. Yep. We are probably going to see the Pokemon switch. I think uh, Cool Jake was just trying to, to gauge out how tilted is Utah. Not very. <laughs> it doesn't seem like he's very tilted. It, it seems that nice uh, round of submission chicken gave time for Utah to breathe it out. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot of anxiety when it comes from going from match to match to match. Uh, you, you know, that puts a lot of stress on your mental capabilities because now you're you're wearing yourself out. Each match is is a trial. It's it, tough. It's just slowly chipping at you. Yeah, exactly. And so taking a moment, you know, take a second to breathe <coughs> is really important. Just you know, smell the flowers that aren't in here. Yeah. <laughs> smell the concrete. We got, we got, we got beautiful, uh, you know, vendors here. There's plenty of stuff to go look at. You know, yeah, mid set. Just walk away. You know, yeah, look at the vendors. Let's take go. a 20 minute. Come back. <laughs> you know, do another match. Take another 20 minutes. Get, get yourself a, a good luck charm. <laughs> <laughs> you may need it. 
Yeah, definitely. Especially when it comes to a reset. That's always scary. Now, I think... Oh, he's sticking it out with the Blastoise. You know, what I... Like I said earlier, he does have a, a lot of options. Very to, beautiful. That was actually really solid CDC through that and the counter pierce against the Earthquake. And you, it looks like he's baiting out those rapid spins with stored power. He's doing really, really good here. I mean, we're just seeing tons of pressure coming out from Utah against Cool Jake. And Cool Jake has the opportunity to continue to stay Blastoise till the reset if he so chooses. And that does make a big difference. Oh, Dragon Pulse managing to catch the ball in the frames and Water Spout coming on in. Sets himself up with the bubble. Utah gonna burst here. Smart. Very smart, you know, push him back a little bit, get some distance, break the break the shield, or break the counter in this case. She may be a zoner, but you know, sometimes <laughs> you need that space. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, you can see that the Jirachi buff is coming back online here, so if he's quick about this, he can actually activate Jirachi. Well, never mind. He could have actually activated Jirachi mid hit against the wall and still caught Cool Jake and then saved and then had more synergy for the next round. I wonder if he just wasn't thinking about that. He was just wanting to dig down. Yeah, no, I mean, getting the kill itself is is huge in this because if you're not winning, if you're not carrying on with the momentum that you have, you can instantly lose it. I definitely think, uh, like, sometimes there's that optimal play that you know it that could happen, but you may forget about it in the tournament. That's because true. It's just, you're trying to get there. Right, you're trying to get the kill, and the kill is probably... The, it is the most important thing because that's how you take the next round. And Utah running away with these rounds right now. Very nice. He's just waiting for all the options Cool Jake is, is throwing out. The thing is, normally Utah is not a very patient player. But he's he's sitting back. He's waiting for... for what? Did that just like flip him? Oh no, this might actually hit. Oh. <laughs> just barely. Beautiful burst from Cool Jake. Gonna deal a ton of damage on this. Now, Utah still has the opportunity to burst himself, and the Jirachi buff is coming back online. So he can boost up his defenses, boost up his attack power. Yeah, he's got an opportunity here in the moment here. He's taking it, because Jirachi's almost there. And there we go, yep. Popping the Jirachi, put himself he in a good position. He wants to do that damage. And he's just, he's, he's going on in. He's probably trying to, yep, there we go. He got the stray hit that allows him to combo into burst. <laughs> Does get it off here. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Say it with me. Anime Waifu, Waifu Canon. KO. <laughs> Utah running away 2 0 so far in this set of grand finals. So now the question is will Cool Jake allow him to take the reset? Or will he go and change to a Pokemon or change to a new support set that may work better? Because Snipey is Snipey's nice and all to take off pressure. Yeah. But Utah dashed out of it or was not close enough for it to really have made a difference. I, you know, here's the thing. I, I respect that Cool Jake is trying to get more matchup knowledge in the Gardevoir, see what he can do differently here and there. And Grand Finals can be a time to do that if you're confident in yourself here. But I think maybe a different character switch, not even Pikachu, but something different to shake up Utah's momentum, his, his rhythm. Yeah, because Utah's getting way too used to uh, fighting the Blastoise. Nice trade, because the energy ball does talk upon uh, hitting another projectile. And the, and the biggest thing here with Utah fighting Cool Jake is, you are correct, you know, he is gaining a lot of confidence off of these wins as well. And that definitely helps Utah a lot. He has had some struggles um, in the past when he loses, you know, everybody goes through that. And that's a tough thing, but you can see him flying with beautiful colors right now. Two games up on Cool Jake, which is phenomenal. Very Getting nice, caught him with the charge forward Y, allowing him to set up some uh, some psychics, some traps. And the defense buff was up for Cool Jake at the time, but even so, it's still not enough to, to mitigate a lot of that damage for himself. I do like the Whimsicott choice, though. I think that's pretty nice, especially actually going with uh, Jirachi as well, powering himself up, doing, seeing what he can do against this. Oh, just a whole lot of counter brains up on the screen. I like the, the backdash from, from Cool Jake. He recognized he was overextending himself and really kind of reset the neutral play here. Oh, that was oh my beautiful. gosh. It gave him burst now. Both players are in burst. Everything is very dangerous. 14 seconds left on the clock. It looks like Cool Jake may be trying to run the clock here. Oh, okay, he hits the shield. Grab instantly. How much will this do? Oh, it takes it just 
barely. That Jirachi buff is definitely saving Utah's life. It is giving him enough power to keep up with all the aggression he wants to do. And I really do like that he is, he has adapted to Cool Jake's play. We can see he's running away with these set, with these rounds here. It's not just, you know, super, super close all the time. That last game was, how, that last round was. However, Utah's adapting properly, and that's what's helping him out so much. You can Again, just see it right baiting there. that out. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He is baiting a lot of those options. And that's going to be key in to see if he can continue to do it to win these games. Very beautiful. Just commanding this entire round, and that actually burst energy ball. That's actually very interesting. The air counter coming out, eight health left on the Cool Jake, and Utah still has burst. And Rachi didn't even need to use it. We so have ourselves a nice reset. However, I think Cool Jake should change at this point. Yeah, we, when it comes down to it, when it really, really boils down to it, is a 3 0 from your opponent is saying something. Yeah, it means that this is not working. <laughs> yeah, definitely try and find something to change it up. Really put yourself into a better perspective here. And I think we are going to see a character change coming out from Cool J. Like, even a new a new support can just change the match entirely. True. You could stick with Blastoise, but maybe run Pachirisu or maybe run uh, Amolga. Just something to, you know, slow Utah down. And... That's, that, that's the problem, is that Utah is just simply running away with these games here. Mm -hmm. Cool Jake's having a hard time. He's still sticking to Blastoise. I, but we it, may have a support change. He may, and that can be, that can be a game changer, like you just said. It just depends on how he goes about it. There's a lot of different tactics that you can pull and poke at to make things work for you, but he switches. You know, I don't, I don't agree with this. I, I don't agree with, with this choice, um, because Very Utah nice. is already running away with it. Yep. He's already got the phase change. It helps out so much. Look at how much projectile damage he's just been doing. And he's keeping Cool Jake against the wall. He's not really giving him many opportunities to really breathe here. And that's that's a big difference. Both like, of them using their anti-airs, waiting for someone to jump. And homing cancel. Very nice. I mean, he had to he had to have something going on there. He does get the flip up. But jump in the air combo. doesn't do anything. <laughs> Jumping doesn't really go like that move, by the way, when Blastoise jumps up and like <laughs> freaking like spreads his arms out. I that move is so good. Blastoise has a phenomenal fight. Alright, so it did help him this time in the corner. The Snivy it, it stopped Utah's pressure just a little bit, but now he's all oh, very Oh nice. my gosh. That was an that the reach on that move is phenomenal. Oh, oh. my gosh. That, that's definitely going to kill. That was not only a crit, <laughs> he has Jirachi buff, and Cool Jake has no HP. Yeah, the, there's no getting out of the waifu cannon at this point. You're going to find a way. You're, no, you're not getting out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Close proximity, in your face, no. it ain't happening. And once again, we're still seeing Utah run away with these games, with these rounds here. It's, he's being so dominant, and at the same time, as he's zoning Blastoise out, which Gardevoir has lots of opportunities to do so, we're seeing how he's incorporating a whole new playstyle and just keeping Cool Jake on his toes. It, it, it's like Utah's definitely mixing up between. Oh, <laughs> tried to max back dash out. <laughs> max grab range. Now, what do you think Cool Jake could be doing differently here in these rounds? I honestly think a character change is in order because. I mean, it's not the worst matchup in the world at the time. Wow. But it just seems like maybe a different support, maybe a different character. He has enough He has enough characters to just sit back and go, okay, I have a, a Lucario. I have, I have my Pikachu. I don't know all the other characters he has. He has a lot Blaziken of characters. Blaziken as well. Yeah, he has a Blaziken. He does have a Blaziken that he does occasionally he can play. Just reset his brain. He could uh, throw Utah for a loop. And you know, here's the thing. He did just take a game off or a round and you know, maybe he's figuring something out with Blastoise. I, you know, what we've seen so far doesn't seem to be the case, but he does seem to be finding some sort of groove with Blastoise. I'll be in a small amount though. <laughs> I love that bubble setup. I think that is so clever to be able to trap your opponent into doing an unsafe option. Very nice. The sword power managed to trigger the counter frames and slow him down enough 
for him to cancel it into burst. And this is going to be a lot of damage. He's not into rage. Utah's not in rage, but you can still see a Jirachi buff does massive amounts of damage to your opponent. And this is going to be this could be and the game right be here. It. Oh, oh, not quite man. defense buff saving him. And Cool Jake does still have his burst online. Defense buff is up for himself. It just ran out though. He has to find an option to get in here. He, he definitely does. <gasps> oh no, he hit a button! The crit! Oh no! What? Communication error did occur. I I don't know what's happening right now. I think that would have killed. Okay, so we are giving we one to Cool Jake. One to Cool Jake? Yes. So game one going over to Cool Jake. He did manage to get the animation off within that split second as <laughs> both of them popped off. You really got to give it to these players. You can see how passionate they are about the game. <laughs> Once more, please pop off responsibly. <laughs> Make sure you have a friend present to cheer you up. <laughs> Can I please get a friend to pop off for you? Uh, <laughs> you just sit there stone cold, like stone faced, and your friend's like, yeah! <laughs> Makes a uh, big can, difference. can we summon Jin, the hype man? <laughs> All right, going to Magikarp Festival, one of the best stages in this game. I am very partial to Sky Pillar. I'm sorry, you're wrong. But anyway, getting back into it. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I've never you know. been so insulted in my life. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a shame that Magikarp is considered one of the worst, but... Is he going to outlast it? No, he doesn't outlast it with his counter. And Utah setting up the traps. Uh, a quick grab there. Was, I think it was a little greedy. Um, because, as you said, you know, as we as we all know here, Utah is infamous, infamous the state itself, for grabs. <laughs> Not just the player. And that, that counter was very unusual because he did have the fully charged counter ready. I do like a lot of the chip damage here that Cool Jake, cool Jake is dishing out. And we're seeing a totally different Cool Jake now. He's changing up the playstyle a lot. Oh, it's traded. Snivy comes out. He's actually going to catch him, but he's not going to be able to get the follow up on that 1 HP. Man, Cool Just Jake is changing it around. All right, so we may we may start seeing the, the start of a Cool Jake comeback with Blastoise. What is the difference here? What was the difference between set one? versus set two. What is Cool Jake doing differently? A lot more counters, honestly. Normal counters, not rapid spin, because Utah's been baiting out those rapid spins so often. And you are correct. He is doing a lot more different counters for himself to get himself in the group here. But first, coming up from Utah, just applying a little bit more pressure here. Oh, didn't, he didn't have enough charges of Calm Mind, it looks like, to... to hit the rapid spin to delay it for the burst attack once again. Now, the nice thing about all this is that Cool Jake does have burst online for himself. So if he does get into a tough position, he can push back. Just right there, burst out. Probably going to pop the Snivy here. Yep. It looks like he's dashing out of it. And, you know, that's, that's really smart of Cool Jake to just push Utah back. He's going to make him, he's going to force the option out here. Oh, what? Oh! Wait, what? I'm sorry, <laughs> what just happened here? <laughs> okay, um, he, he punched him in the face. You know, I, I, I'm so, I'm I'm so sure lost right now. I'm not sure how beat that <laughs> this is where This is where you get into like glitch territory, where you think something's gonna work out, and it's like, oh yeah, of course, and then. I, I understand that a lot of this matchup is Moonblast, the matchup, but that is taking it way too far. <laughs> Half health just from that one combo string from Cool Jake. Phenomenal job using the rapid spin to get past those projectiles as well. Uh, Bubble setup in the counter. does get the wall spot. One HP left for Utah, but Utah has to burst. he does it, absolutely. If he's going to make some sort of comeback here, if he's going to do anything, he has to burst. Wait. Is that going to hit? Is Lapras going to... <laughs> no animation, but damage is damage, man. Especially when you're this far behind. You need something to get started. And there it goes. Oh. Cool Jake changing things around. This could be a reverse 3-0 in Grand Finals. We're seeing a lot of different changes. You know, he is mixing things up, like you said, with the normal counters incorporated with rapid spins to throw you to off his game. And the movement is what I really want to focus on with Cool Jake. He's, you can see that he's actually like hopping around 
And that's kind of odd because Blastoise is, you think of him as a stationary character. So, this is match point for Cool Jake. What does Utah have to do here to change this around? It uh, looks like he's just got to, he's got to outplay Cool Jake at this point. He's got to figure out what has Cool Jake done and how can I counter it? We are seeing that there is a, a little bit of a difference here in dual phase. Utah kind of tends to run it, you know, run through Cool Jake's health in that phase particularly. But if, best phase is the field. <laughs> that is true for both, actually, for Utah and Gardevoir players. Field phase is phenomenal, especially against Blastoise. And if you can dominate, right, exactly. And if you can dominate both phases, big plays, big damage, and you just run away with it. Oh, it looks like he tried to slide underneath the counter and catch the vulnerable frame, but not quite succeeding. And now it is. Never mind. I was going to say it's Cool Jake's turn to delete health, <laughs> but uh, preemptive commentator's curse. Look, at, you can't even say it. <laughs> oh come on, game! Don't you love me? <laughs> Utah changing things around a little bit now. Looks like he's finally got a little bit more confidence in himself after Cool Jake did run away with a lot of games there. Two in a row, in fact. That's that's huge. That may counter Pierce. Now, here's the thing about Energy Ball. It has so many different properties about it. You can send the... the it is such a weird move. And it does a lot of damage, and it combos, too. Which yeah, is it combos. Nice. Utah's just keeping on the pressure. I'm not in burst, but I don't care. <laughs> I mean, there's not a whole lot that... I See, I would have bursted here as Utah. Whereas, if you see Cool Jake push a button, you burst. As long as it's not bur oh, bur oh, he didn't have this an action. This may be a punish. Does he get shield up in time? He does. He does. Just barely. It's, oh, he drops, drops the, the follow-up. Teleports behind him. Very <laughs> nice. Job. Utah putting himself on the board for Grand Finals Reset. He can still bring this back, but he is locked into Gardevoir. He cannot change his character. So Cool Jake could have possibly put him in a bad position. He could change characters or just go straight back in. That's true. That's true. Cool Jake could have been planning this ahead of time, you know, and now Cool Jake can switch it up if he so desires, which is really clever. You know, if you trap your opponent into an option, they have to pursue that. So I think it's really clever. Looks like uh, both players are still sticking to the same supports. I, you know, I think that the big difference this? before with Coltrick was he wasn't utilizing sniping the best. No, I don't think so. Uh, Utah would constantly be away from it or back out of it. Mm -hmm. Double <laughs> Constantly baiting out all these options. Oh, he tried to be cheeky with the moonblast again. <laughs> hey, I heard you like counters, so here's some counters for your counters. <laughs> I, he was just out of that grab, so that didn't, you know, crit counter, because that, that air counter that she's doing is a counter. The slow walk-up support, I like it, you know? <laughs> Classic Utah. Classic Utah. Slow walk-up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Special grab. That's true. That There's a lot of mind games involved with this, but he does get he the grab off. He just straight into that grab. He may be dead here in a minute. Oh, tried to go for the grab as well. Get that chip damage off. What's the next option? And oh. Utah just barely clutches that out. Getting the counter pierce. Beautiful job. Now, where are you seeing the differences now with between Utah's play? What what is he doing differently as this game is progressing further? It looks like honestly every both of them are just using every option they possibly can now. And it's just all coming down to who's reading the correct thing. Oh, absolutely. And again, Utah just sat there in shield waiting. Sometimes shield is the best option. You know, if you can bait out an option from somebody else, you can punish that accordingly and deal a lot of damage off of it. So, I mean, there is a lot of differences in what's going on here. Utah playing a little bit more patient, and I like that. Patience is definitely key sometimes. Is he out of the way? <laughs> He's out. He just cleared that burst. He said, you can't now touch this. the threat this. <laughs> of him throwing out burst is gone. He can use as many projectiles as he wants. That's true. Because now the, a lot of the, the pressure, the fear that a burst has to offer is gone. Oh, he didn't time that correctly. But that air counter's taking field. He's, ooh, very nice. Counter fearful on that. That was really close. 
from Utah. If he had just gotten the Psychic off, that could have taken the game. All right, so it's not over yet. There's a whole lot of chip damage. Oh happening. my gosh, oh! that was beautiful. CDC backwards into grab. Phenomenal. I mean, we're down to game number five in a grand finals reset. But once again, Utah is stuck as Gardevoir. Cool Jake could change it up and possibly, oh, here we go. We may be seeing that change right now. Here it comes. I think this is going to be the Pikachu, and I think this is smart. He's character locked him. He's realizing, hey, <clears throat> this is grand finals reset. I have, to, if I want to win this, I got to change things up a bit. I have to put a new fear into Utah. Now, Utah is 100% used to that Blastoise. He's used to how Cool Jake was playing with that. Utah has to adapt on the fly. And Cool Jake is so used to Gardevoir now that he has quite an advantage over the play style of what Utah has to incorporate. There we go. He ran straight into that counter attack. It was the fear, the fear that killed him. <laughs> And now look oh at my this. Gosh. Cool Jake is inside Utah's head entirely. Like there's we this. We may see a perfect. This is almost a perfect. Eight HP left on a Utah, and it, it is. is a perfect. Cool Jake being dominant in this final game here. This is match point now for Cool Jake. If he runs away with it, he wins first place. Makes the money. Oh, not quite getting in, in range for that grab. Nice ca attack cancel there. He baited out the counter, then b bounced himself back. Really waiting for the next move here. He's got first. He's about to use it. He's closing this game out now. And this could be it. He does get the wall splat. Utah has to activate Jirachi if he can. But the homing inner grab. No, Double perfect from Cool Jake. Grand Holy finals reset. Me. That is absolutely insane. And Storm's doing the pop-off for <laughs> Cool Jake. Thank you, that's, Storm. That's why you have a friend for Grand Finals. Do the pop-off for you so you don't get more communication errors. We've really got to hand it.